Hi everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Reef Aquarium. Hope you're all having a good week. Um, so, uh, let's give an update. Right, yeah, so it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a funny old week. Um, uh, obviously, if you look from uh, the previous video, um, we got this little fella here, which is uh, the blue spot jawfish. So, um, you have to excuse, it's a bit dirty this side, and I'll come on to that. But um, So, we put him in there. Uh, if, you, if you saw the video from last week, obviously, anyone that watches my channel knows I had one before, and he, and he somehow jumped out even though i've got a custom lid um so we've been a bit cautious this time so we've put him in one of these little tanks within the tank um just to let, just to let him settle and he's been he's been absolutely fine he's been good as gold uh gave it a few days um so i've taken the lid off um assuming he'll come out but he's uh he, he, he stayed there so i'm not going to push him out he, he seems you know he seems really settled um the tank the tang doesn't leave him alone. He swims or he's swimming around this area the whole time. So we'll have to keep an eye on things when he eventually does make his way out. But I have literally taken no, um, you know, I've I've taped every little hole up. I, I literally cannot lift this lid up at the moment. So it is 100% jump proof. Um, but yeah you know he's he's getting on really well um he's uh he's settling in and i'm sure when the time's right he will um look if you see there look he just doesn't leave him alone but what we'll do is well i'm going to show you he's eating really well as well so let's do a little feed now it's going to be awkward for me to do this i'm going to try and do this with one hand um oh bear with me uh where are we let's uh try and get back this way there we are Right, so I've got some mysis and uh, some of the what I usually feed, which is the, the gamma vegetarian one for the tang, and I mix it in with the mysis. So uh, let's just show you what happens now if I put some of this in. So uh, obviously you can see him, he can't, you know, he wants to get to it, but obviously some of it will fall in, some of it won't, but he's, he's really trying to eat. Uh, which is really good. Now, if I just put a little bit in his tank, uh, let's just do that. Um, but yeah, they're all eat they're all eating real well. He's obviously trying to get to it, which is good. Look, it's uh, he's trying to get to that bit. Um, so look, what I'm going to do is just bear with me two seconds. I'm going to put this in here just so we can give him a bit of target feeding. There we are. And if you can see there, he's really, he's really eating that, which is which is what we want. You know, the biggest worry when you're adding a fish, is obviously, you know, these are, these are very, um, quite tricky fish to keep, um, to keep him in the tank for starters. But, um, but the good news is, look, if you have a look there now it's not going to be as clear now i apologize the reason being for that is because obviously i keep my glass very clean and i can't get to that bit without moving it and i haven't i, I haven't made i've made sure i haven't literally put my hand in the tank this week so uh um just to put the glass cleaner in through there and then i stuck it back and just 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 so i can keep the rest of it clean mainly for shooting the video otherwise i wouldn't have bothered um but he's really good you know look you can see the tang tang just won't leave him alone so he, that could be a worry when he does come out and it could maybe cause him to but he hasn't i haven't seen him jump really once only when he's tried to go, jump to get some food um now if it does get to a point where i think you know it's best for him to come out i might look at doing something but it's going to be awkward i'm gonna to have to untape everything lift the lid up then i'm gonna to have to somehow pour that and he could freak out and jump then so it's it's one of those that i think i'm just gonna bide my time and look the tang just he, he he's constantly around him the whole time the whole day he's around him so it'd be interesting but he's a really cool little character he really is i love watching him um, and I've had him a week now, which is great. So you know, it's uh, compared to the last one, which was which was pretty bad. Uh, we had him twenty four hours, but really well. The rest of the tank, um, 
again, obviously, I've just been focused on the jawfish. So I'm really, ca- uh, you know, uh, everything seems to be going really well. A uh, bit of algae here and there. I have got the blue lens on because the lights have just recently come on. Um, but everything seems really good. Um, let's have a look at the parameters. Bear with me. Let's have a look to see what we got this week. Now it's the same old. It's a bit, bit of same old, same old, really. Uh, this week, let's have a look. Um, so we got nitrates ten, pH is eight point one, phosphate. I've done those the wrong way around, but phosphate is um, zero point one. But I've just changed the row of force, so that'll bring that down. Salinity thirty two point one. Um, yeah, I've got. I've brought that up. I've done a uh, on my water change today. I've done it at forty, so salinity. So that will actually bring things up. Alkalinity nine point two, magnesium fourteen eighty. Uh, so really happy with the magnesium. Uh, sorry, with the alkalinity. Happy with the parameters in whole, really. Um, so things are looking good. Everything, all the corals seem to be um, doing really well. Um, you can usually tell the zoas are, you know, stretching high for that light, and they're they're all open. Um, Trachophilia, I think, is a could still be on his way out. It was uh, obviously if we have a little look there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not holding my hopes too much on that one, but um, but yeah, really happy. You know, um, just want to get this little fella settled in the tank properly, so I can actually once he's settled, uh, my sand bed. I don't know if you can't really see it because the the filter, but it's not looking. It's looking a bit green. Um, I like to keep a very very clean sand bed, so we really want to get that. Um, want to get that cleaned. I'm desperate to clean it, and I can't. So uh, so uh, yeah. See, I want to get that cleaned, um, and it's. Uh, but I'm still doing my water change. I'm doing it through the sump at the moment, and uh, what I've done is just put my little Eheim pump, and basically put a tube on it. Um, because obviously, because when you're when you're right down there, you don't get the. Uh, I suppose the gravity. You can't do the standard sucking in. It will continue. So I've got a pump doing that, but um, I'm still doing my ten percent water change. Um, come around with this bit actually uh but no really happy with the tank um at the moment um obviously I'll, you know i can't really do much regards to any i don't want to put any corals in at the moment just to want to get the, my main focus is getting this jawfish settled and then um then i can enjoy him for a bit but i've got i've got my eyes on a few corals at the moment as well um so it's good yeah it's, it's, uh, that's really it for this week um uh, i just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers um uh like comment subscribe you know uh if you've got any questions let me know and don't forget to follow me on instagram neil's reef aquarium so um you know i think we've got just under 200 uh followers on that which is great um so come and follow come and follow me because i do put uh you know trying to put daily photos up at the moment just of the corals and i'll do some little stories little things like that that you won't see on the, these videos certainly with the jawfish i'll give updates on instagram so so make sure you uh, so, uh follow me on there um and uh yeah i'm just trying to think if i've missed out anything really um dosing the author reef um just mainly doing that i'm not uh that the dose i don't know what's wrong with that but we'll sort that um but yeah really happy um you know not really much to report this week uh so it's been it's, it's been you know just all of being all about uh houdini as i've named him um but so far he's he's not living up to houdini because he ain't found he ain't got his way out of that box let alone the tank yet so you know uh uh yeah i'm desperate to get a haircut as i'm sure all of you are in the uk as you know we're in lockdown so uh if you wonder why the cap's been coming out it's because my hair is a horrendous mess and um yeah i can't i can't even bear i can't bear myself to look at it so we got the cap for that but it's all good um so yeah enjoying the tank you know can't wait to get some uh some more new additions fish wise i think we're close to done now um uh you know i don't want to overstock the tank but really happy with everything i'll keep you all updated on uh him and uh yeah i'll speak to you lot next week you take care bye